Good morning, folks. In the wake of our 7 magnitude quake in Guam yesterday, the top shake since then rang in 6 magnitude range multiple times near the Kuril Islands. It would be one thing to list this as 5.9 or 5.8 despite those readings, but 5.4? It's a bit low even for the USGS. We also took a four-pointer in Washington State yesterday, slightly above average there. Gamma Energy took another burst yesterday, this time from the Hercules constellation. Cosmic rays remained in flux with an apparent neutron peak while the muons continue to climb slowly. Solar flaring kicked back up a bit into the higher sea range. The eruptions will not be of near-Earth concern as they came from the incoming limb and the spots that just departed. Center disk is clear of the spots for the most part as the limb pops a bit. Another 24 hours without seeing a CME impact. Remember yesterday we said this was likely too weak to make any waves here at Earth? It appears the experts might agree. I'll go for that puny option there, Dr. Phillips. So the southern negative coronal hole exits, and behind the fields in comes the positive opening up top. Iswa shows the force of this coronal hole to be significant, just like our departing southern opening. For some perspective, that can also be visualized with all fields. Green top left is the positive incoming hole while the negative departs below. Blue coronal fields split the two with the lower umbral fields in orange from sunspot regions. To learn more about these, click the Sun series link under playlist below the video. Those coronal holes are seen here, dark, departing down south and then coming up north. You can also see that it was a pretty calm day on our star. Just some pops on the limb that will not be geo-effective. Folks, how about evidence of a planet influencing the magnetic fields of its star? Far, far away. We've seen papers and taken observational evidence of such things within our own solar system, but for the first time, we find it true beyond the heliosphere. Terrific article and visualization here about galactic mergers. It seems the standard theory of combination and shape simply doesn't hold water. We're finding a common pattern to these interactions. And remember, folks, all these links can be found below the video, except for this one, which I jacked from CNN. Kind of made me laugh out loud. A little humor this morning. How are the troops going to fight Ebola? with guns. I thought it was an error and that they meant medical personnel, but no, they mean troops. And yes, I know this is for administrative and ground support with shelters and supplies, but the presentation of the proposal was hilarious. Military versus microbes. Careful guys, you won't have enough sheep to go fight the ISS. Ding dongs. Okay, a bit more serious. You will also have a link to the U.S. and world weather records. I won't go through them all right now, but the pattern is pretty much holding. The media says warming, while the cold records appear to be winning the race now since late 2012. And if you're new here, yes, we check in here often. This is actually a closer comparison than most of the last 18 months, but still clearly favoring the cold records. So, if this seems unfamiliar to you, while you're checking out that Sun Series playlist I mentioned below the video, maybe go ahead and click on the climate change one as well. Checking in on the typhoon that formed over top the Guam earthquake. This one luckily is not heading due west yet again. Instead, we'll swing north through the islands south of Japan. Hurricane Polo, rocking in the eastern Pacific, shooting up the Mexican coastline now. Meanwhile, Odile remnants are shifting east, mostly missing Arizona, all the flooding has been in unpopulated areas thus far, but there is still a lot of moisture to come down, and it's complemented by a flow from the Gulf, so we've still got our flood warnings for those areas tonight. The eastern low of the two in Europe has been causing pretty severe flooding from Slovenia across to Romania, just a few of them listed here. The systems haven't moved too much. The eastern low is indeed shifted further east and mostly confined to Turkey, while the Atlantic continues its steadfast moisture flow from the west. Got a small convergence in the center of Australia, and the big low between Melbourne and the South Island of New Zealand. Hopefully you can see how easy weather forecasting should be down here. We've got some shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.25 a.m. Local Time. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.